Good morning again, YouTube. It is 11.20 a.m. July 1st. Lesson learned. Don't put out a tropical storm advisory until the latest update, which would have been 11 o'clock Eastern Time, right before I put out the last video. So, <clears throat> surprise, surprise, it's been upgraded. We now have Tropical Storm Arthur. And I will briefly read over. Uh, radar and satellite imagery indicated the convective organization of the cyclone has improved since the previous advisory and the cyclone is being upgraded based on a sustained wind report of 30, 33 knots from Settlement Point on Grand Bahama Island earlier this morning that was outside of the deep convection. After remaining nearly stationary earlier this morning, Arthur appears to be drifting northwestward now with an uncertain motion. Otherwise, there is no significant change to the previous forecast track. The latest model guidance has continued the trend of a pronounced mid-tropospheric trough digging southward, southeastward sorry, from the upper Midwest into the northeastern and mid-Atlantic region of the United States by 72 hours. Uh, so again, basically, in a nutshell, I'll post all the details for this, but um, again, it's been upgraded from Tropical Depression to Tropical Storm Arthur. By days 4 and 5, Arthur is forecast to move over the far north Atlantic as an extra tropical cyclone. However, prior to that, uh, we are looking at another upgrade uh, just prior to landfall, probably in the North Carolina region, to hurricane status. Uh, because winds will be increasing from 35 knots to 40 knots, which is about 45 miles an hour, to about 50, then 60, 70 knots, which is about 80 miles per hour, putting it safely as a Category 1. Let's take a look quickly. Again, not much has changed, although you can see tropical winds, tropical storm winds now extend uh, fairly close to the shore. That's about 20 miles, uh, give or take, maybe 30 miles. Uh, we'll take a closer look on the radar in a minute. But again, uh, areas of uncertainty are to the east and west of the storm track. Hurricane force winds are now forecast to cross over uh, probably it looks like Cape Fear, North Carolina. Uh, so again, we are expecting an upgrade to hurricane force within the next 48 hours. This will be the first hurricane of 2014 as well as first tropical storm of 2014. Again, warnings. Uh, this is the possible uh, predicted track with the cone of uncertainty on either side. Uh, however, by 8 a.m. Friday, July 4th, we're looking at the center of the hurricane. Uh, it should be a hurricane by the July 4th to be positioned right around uh, Cape Fear, North Carolina, uh, just south of Virginia. This will be a rainmaker. Uh, plenty of moisture available for it, 7.5 inches, 5.6 inches as it goes up. Uh, dump of rain uh, in a 24-hour period, so that it's going to be a significant rainmaker uh, regardless. Let's take a look at the current radar. And taking a look at the current radar, we can see its position uh, located just off the east of Palm Bay, uh, Florida. Uh, it's just, just southeast of Daytona, uh, Cape Canaveral. Center of location will be right around here. And clearly, rotation is developed. So it's a nicely formed tropical cyclone at this point. point. Uh, again, this tropical storm Arthur, taking a look at the winds. Okay, we do see this was not here earlier, so we are seeing an increase in forward motion of the uh, northeast, northern uh, section of tropical storm Arthur. And that would place the wind somewhere around 43 miles an hour, I'd say. Between 43 and 47 miles an hour. So again, safely a tropical storm. And we're going to follow this as it goes. So this is a breaking alert for North Carolina, uh, Virginia. South, well, let's include South Carolina as well. South Carolina uh, actually goes all the way down to Florida. Let's start over. Florida has uh, tropical storm warnings, as does the coastal waters off Georgia, South Carolina. Uh, and then warning is going to continue up through North Carolina, Virginia, D.C., uh, Delaware, New Jersey, and New York. As this thing travels north, all of this area will be impacted uh, especially looking over this area right here. So, right in here should definitely see a hit from the storm. If everything keeps on track, it should cross right over. I'll keep you guys updated. Stay safe, guys. This is Scott Anthony out, 11.26 a.m. Eastern Daily Time, July 1st.